Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, you're going to be finding out why omega-3 is so healthy for your cells. Hey everybody, it's me Amir. So you keep on hearing every single day, well, you need to take your omega-3, omega-3 foods, omega-3 supplements, omega-3, omega-3, omega-3. Bang. Well, what in the world does omega-3 actually do in your body? So this is one mechanism I'm going to show you right now, and it's a very important one, like extremely, extremely important. So what I got over here is your basic cell, and your cell has a shield called the lipid bilayer, right? So inside the nucleus and all the other cellular stuff. But this lipid bilayer is like a sponge. It will it, it allow stuff in, and then if you squeeze it, it allows stuff out, right? So very permeable, right? So very jelly-like substance, right? And if you're looking at it, you have these heads over here, then tails and heads, right? Obviously, you have water inside the cell, water outside of the cell, right? So inside doesn't like water right here, right? Hydrophobic, hydrophilic, right? Cool. That being said, the, the why you need omega-3 and why it's so important for omega-3 is because when you have healthy levels of omega-3 compared to omega-6, obviously it has to be a fine balance in, in trans fats, which you shouldn't have in your diet. You, this is a healthy version of omega-3 over here. Do you see that kind of like kind of little jagged ridge over there? That makes it flexible, right? So that makes your lipid bilayer like a jelly-like substance, right? Very fluid, very jelly. The problem is is when you have overexpression of omega-6 and if you're eating trans fats or if you're eating shitty foods, your omega-3s become rusty, see? And it becomes like a straight, jagged line. It doesn't have that flexibility like a jellyfish, right? So then your cells don't have that fluidity as you should have, right? So there's no fluidity, there's no cellular communication, right? So your ionic pores, the stuff going inside your cell and going outside your cell is not working because your cell is rusty like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. You get the idea right now? You want jelly, you don't want rusty. You don't want to be the Tin Man, you want to be like a nice jellyfish, right? So that's why omega-3 is so important for your cells. It makes it into a jelly. Now the question remains then is, you know, what types of foods are good for omega-3? Well, you got wild fish, right? You got cod liver oil. You got grass-fed beef, you got organ meats, you got walnuts. There you go. There's, there's five amazing foods you should include every single week in your diet. Uh, what do I include? This is the question I always get. I eat liver every single week. I'm taking a fermented cod liver oil right now. And uh, on occasion, I have walnuts. Those are three things I'm personally eating for my omega-3. Obviously, it's not always about adding in. Remember, subtracting. So subtract those omega-6s. Subtract the trans fat, those shitty fats, those oxidized, uh, rusty fats. You don't want them in your body, okay? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, leave some comments, and click this button right here. Where I'm offering my free optimal audiobook where I show you in simple steps how to optimize your supplements, your diet, your hormones, and feel energized. Till then, have an amazing day, guys. Catch you soon.